Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to install the Whitestone Dome Glass Screen Protector for the S21 Ultra. Let's crack on. This is the Whitestone Dome Glass Screen Protector and the Camera Module Protector. I've been looking everywhere for about two months for a screen protector for my S21 Ultra that one, protects the screen of course, but doesn't interfere with the fingerprint scanner. I love the fingerprint scanner on this and I don't want to lose it, but I also want a screen protector that keeps this beautiful display as clear and bright as when it was out of the box. And also I wanted something to protect my camera module. After the step-by-step -step installation, I'll show you how the phone looks out in the wild and also whether it really protects the phone. And because this protector uses an adhesive, here's something that I want to know myself. What the hell happens when you want to sell the phone? Will it be all gooey and a nightmare to clean? Will it leave any marks? Well, let's crack on and find out. Let's take a look. Mandatory use of a overkill knife to open a box. The first thing you notice is how much gear you get with this protector. It's almost like we need to have an engineering degree. It feels like we're about to launch a rocket and all we're trying to do is put a screen protector on. Hopefully it's not as complicated as it looks. Let's go through it. They actually send you two protectors as well, which is good. Let's set that aside. We're not gonna need these three tubes here. We're only gonna need one of them, put them aside. This gizmo here is the UV lighting that we have to plug into a USB source. What we will do is to cure the adhesive at the end. So we'll set that aside for now. With these stickers that they send, you've got to protect the buttons um, and that's basically to stop any adhesive getting into the phone itself. It's quite neat. The bottom part of the phone is probably the most important one to make sure that you don't leave any entries here. So that's obviously the USB-C port that we don't want anything getting in there and the bigger speaker cutouts are there as well. So you've got to be quite careful. So make sure it's nice and secure. Clean the screen one more time just to make sure that there's nothing in there. Got to be really thorough on this. Trust me, if any bit of dust is on the screen, you're going to regret it because it will you'll generate bubbles and this whole process will be a waste of time. So take your time when you're doing this. Feel free to pause the video. Remove this little, I don't know if you can see here, it's a little plastic lip here. You need to remove that this way from the bottom. And what that does, see that black sticker there? That will cover the speaker on the phone and like that put it down on the phone press push it down and that's it make sure that this blue thing is always down guys okay leave it down and locked in when you remove this lock later the whole thing will will move so we, we want to make sure that that's secure so just a final check to make sure that the speaker sticker here is connected you just run your finger to make sure that 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 part is protected as well the next step sounds like overkill but trust me use this dust remover covering the entire screen. Even though you can't see it, there's always gonna be a, a speck of dust in there. Once you've done that, it's time to set the adhesive. So you use this bridge that they send, set that in the middle and get this little tube. So you wanna remove the pink cap first and place it down. Now, when you place it down, it might not connect properly. So you push it until it clicks. So now it's properly connected. The next thing to do is to make sure that this is completely wound up. So just turn this knob here at the top completely until it stops. Don't push it too hard, just when it stops, just leave it. And now it's time to let the adhesive set. So we're going to open the top cap and leave it for 30 seconds. Okay, after 30 seconds, carefully lift, hold the actual rig down to lift this bridge. Very carefully set that aside. Okay, if at this point you can see the adhesive is not in the middle, basically did something wrong. So make sure it is done flat and the adhesive should be spot on in the middle like that. Cool, so now we're getting to the juicy part. So this is the screen protector itself. It comes with a, this film. So you're gonna remove that film. Just like that. Very careful not to touch the protector itself. You can see the cutout at the top that tells you that's the punch hole camera. So with the stick a bit facing down and you can see that there's a curve as well. If you're not sure, just make sure you're putting the curve the same way the phone is. The way you wanna place the protector on this rig is by laying the bottom part first and just kind of gently let it fall. So you won't touch the glass yet. As you can see here, it's kind of at an angle, but it's resting on, on its bottom part. The next thing to do is to put this weight that they send. You want these two connectors to go at the bottom part, then very gently rest it on the protector like that. And the next thing you wanna do now is remove that blue lock 
and watch the magic happen. You can see the adhesive spreading to the phone. Do not move the rig at this point. Leave it for a good two minutes until it spreads completely and do not touch it. Okay, while we wait for that to set, let me give you a couple of reasons to subscribe to my channel. I've got loads of content already on the S21 Ultra. I've done reviews, comparisons, and I've got loads more coming up with accessories. And also I've got some great content coming up on the latest devices to be released this year. Lots of exciting stuff and a final reason, just a generic bit of fun. If you do like my content and you end up subscribing, don't forget to hit the notification bell. It's right next to the subscribe button and comment down below, hashtag bell gang to join the fastest growing group on YouTube. There's about nine of us already. All right, let's get back to the video. After two minutes, this red part will come off. Okay, but the way to do it is not just to lift it, it's to hold down the bottom bit and just slide it out. The reason you do that is that you don't want the phone to, to spread and adhesive is still in very liquid form. You don't want it to go everywhere. And you can also carefully remove this weight from the top. And at this point, we'll do the first round of curing of 15 seconds each time for the top, the middle, and the bottom of the phone. So without removing the phone, you're gonna press it once for that light to do its job for 15 seconds. Just do that a couple more times, one on the middle and one at the bottom. And at this point, we can remove the phone from the rig. So the way to do that is to carefully push it down from here. Very important before putting the rig away is to remove this white stickers here. So you can use the rig again for your next installation. After taking the device out from the rig, you can remove these masking tapes. And after removing the tape, we need to do two rounds of curing again, this time pressing the power button twice for the 60 second round. They only say to do top and bottom, but because it's quite a long phone, I want to do it in the middle as well. After you've done one round of 60 seconds, you're gonna do that again. And at this point, I wanna do a massive shout out to Callum, who hooked me up to this system, and Whitestone, who sent me the product to try out. Really, really kind of you guys, thank you very much. And so far, so good. One final time of 60 seconds at the bottom, and we should be done. Cool, so that's the curing process done. You can put the legs away, put that thing away. And one final round of cleaning, just one direction when you're cleaning it. Make sure you get the sides because of those masking tapes, they probably leave some uh, residue. Looks really good, looks like I've done a really good job here. Let's turn the phone on. So the asset test for me, it was gonna be the fingerprint scanner. Does it still work as it did before? Okay, I've noticed something interesting here. So the first few times it didn't really work properly, but if you push it down just for, for like a minute or so, right where the fingerprint scanner is, just apply some pressure where the fingerprint scanner is with a, with a cloth and then use the fingerprint scanner. It's working really well and I'm really happy with it. But I want to say that we did lose some sensitivity here on the fingerprint scanner. It's not as fail safe as it used to and I'm ever so slightly pushing a little bit harder. Yeah. Let's try and add a new fingerprint just to make sure that it works. Pretty happy with this. Adding a new fingerprint, it works, and unlocking the phone works. Like I said, it's not exactly as it was before, but it's only a tiny percentage, almost not noticeable. If you've got this phone for the first time and you got and you got this reaction, you probably wouldn't even notice. But because I've been using it without any screen protector, I know how good the fingerprint sensor is. And we did lose some, I'd say some feedback is not exactly like there, but it's only minor. Right, next thing to do is to put a case on. 
make sure that it still works with the case. I've got this mouse, limbless 3.0 case in leather, which is really elegant, really nice. I was going to try and install the protector for the camera, but I chose the phantom brown option of this phone, which comes with a kind of a textured um, camera module. So I'm, I'm not even gonna try. This will be okay if you've got the non textured sort of camera module like the, the phantom black might be okay it's really nice you can tell it's glass and it's quite transparent but but i'm not even going to try because you know this texture is one of the reasons i bought the phone and i don't want to lose that that look and feel so it's a risk that i will take with the with the camera module but i think it's worth taking especially when you get like a, a decent case on like this mouse one and as you can see the protector doesn't really interfere with the case uh, it's been you know they leave some space for the case which is great neither does it impact the the curved edges it's, it's pretty good cool let's take it outside great so we can hear the birds and beautiful spring here in the uk Obviously someone cutting their grass. I won't be long. This is what it looks like outside. I haven't noticed any difference whatsoever. Looks pretty good to me. One thing that you might want to turn on with the screen protector, not just this one, but anyone, is the touch sensitivity. So that increases the sensitivity on the screen so that you can use it with screen protectors. But I'm gonna say, even with this on, the fingerprint scanner is still not as sensitive as it was when, when it first came out of the box. But still pretty good. I'd say nine times out of 10, you get positive, so it's not so bad. The other question that you might be asking right now is does it get all gooey when you go to eventually remove this and replace to either sell it or apply another protector? Let's remove it and take a look. And this is what happens when you remove it. Guys, what you're about to see here is actually wrong. The way to actually remove it is to carefully pull around the edges of the glass and then slide a thin sheet of plastic or semi-hard material like a playing card of some sort. I left a link down in the description on how to actually do it, okay? It breaks, basically. But the screen is intact. I mean, there's some goo on it. And now some glass dust on it, which is dangerous. Very carefully picking up the glass that's on the screen now. It left some goo behind, but easy enough to remove. There's still some residue there, but not too bad. Nothing too crazy. That wasn't too bad apart from the bits of glass that fell on the screen after removing it. You've got to be careful to clean that afterwards. But the screen is now back to how it was out of the box. So we can sell the phone or put another protector on. So have I found the best screen protector out there for my S21 Ultra? I think I did. Is it perfect? No, I don't think it is perfect, but I think that's always going to be the case with the screen protector. You are putting a piece of glass on top of your phone, so you've got to expect some change, but I've tried a few and this one is by far the best one. The glass feels amazing, watching content on it has not deteriorated at all, and the fingerprint scanner, it's not perfect, but it's as close as I could get. I think this is a fantastic option for you to get both protection and not lose those cool features that you've got with the Samsung. Overall, really happy with this option. Thank you so much, Callum, again, for hooking me up to Whitestone and Whitestone to sending me this product. I'm looking forward to testing even more products from them. So stay tuned on the channel for that. And if you wanna know more about this case and anything that I do in the video, check out these other options I've got here for you. And I'll see you and your smiling faces in the next one. Bye.